He even recognizes her handwriting. That's that is a bit weird. Yeah, but I would I would love to know if he was anything like this with Max. But like I said, I reckon I reckon he never really got a chance because Max was like, nope, she's mine. <laughs> That's what I'd like to think. <laughs> it's probably wrong, but yeah, I would like to think that. We're just over two hours, so this is probably a, only a little bit shorter than the first two, but it's definitely been the shortest so far. We're pretty much the tail end of it, but Hello? now we're going to do this CSI Arcadia Bay stuff in the first game, because of course they had to do that. <clears throat> Disengage lock. <laughs> what a simple password that is. If you have friends that know her birthday and they want to get into the room, you you better change that shit. And considering Rachel's popularity, you know he never really thought to get that password changed. I need to uh, search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. I know, right? We're going to be a snoop. <laughs> what do we have here? I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. Well, then why did we open this? Why were you curious about what was in here? Oh, look. If it can rain ash, I guess it could snow in LA. Huh. <laughs> it's the big one. It's probably not best to put your uh, hand on any of these fingerprints and all. James has a file on Frank. Francis Bowers. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. I guess that is his full name. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Investigate that shit. <laughs> Sweet. The secret key. Now to find the secret lock. <laughs> Everything's a secret. <laughs> oh. Just good luck out there. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, two, one. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> Appreciation of your integrity, honesty, and dedication to fair and ethical administration of justice. Sure. Pro tip. When digging for secrets, try the DA's computer. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh my god, there's a don't nod Easter egg. Right in that corner. The computer's like got don't nod on it. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I just noticed that. Pause the video and look right by the computer just before she opens the drawer. It says don't nod on the bottom. That's fucking sweet, dude. <laughs> that is cool. Deck 9, you rock. Just to remind you who's kind of, you know, who inspired us to make this game. <laughs> Secret boost hash. More sherry. <sighs> Do 
James sure keeps lots of files on people. Well, he's the DA. It kind of makes sense. Locked drawer inside locked office. Seems promising. Yeah. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. This is enough. When you told me at the part that you weren't going to let me see part of Rachel's life, of course I was angry, but I understood your need to protect her. It's your prerogative as a parent. But sending that man to talk sense into me, threaten me, you're losing the moral high ground here. What kind of way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter and the lawyer I spoke with agrees. But more importantly, Rachel has the right to know who her mother is. Ah, so that's how... That's how Damon knows. Because, yeah, he's probably sent Damon after her. Because who else would do that, you know what I mean? See, now James is turning into an absolute dick. He's done all that good shit, and then you go into his room, and then you find all the bad shit. Welcome to Shadyville. <laughs> I know, right? James's stamp collection? No. <laughs> to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. Who do you think? Holy shit. I told you you can help me with my problem. Us in the line, eh? I found who you were looking for. This isn't a charity. I'm going to need to do what we talked about. Sure you can, because I talked to a girl, she has a big mouth. Oh, is that, um, is that Sarah or Rachel? You know, she attacked me first, right? Ah. So yeah, it's definitely Damon. James is working with Damon Merrick? Wow, what an asshole. This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Pretty much. Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? Problem becomes a big problem. Did you just take care of the evidence or not? Shit. What do I say? Here's how it works. You show me proof and I give you what you want. Okay. We know what that is. Hope James actually has this well, evidence. I don't, know what it is. don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Did Damon really shoot someone? <laughs> Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Victim Ellie Forbin. Thomas Lumber. Place is found. Hmm. Could this be the evidence? Damon and knives seem like a solid bet. Yeah, true. They're all in the same place. Huh. If T 
TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. Mm. They're all with uh, Thomas Lumber, which I believe is where the old mill is. So I think this is relating to the stuff we saw earlier. See, I don't... See, thinking about it, I don't think it's these two. Because if, that's, if that place is what I think it is... Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. See, I think it might be the glove, because if Timmy Slimba is near the mill where we were at, we saw Damon punch someone in the face. So I think it's that, but they said to look at something. Uh, let's see. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Crime report, here we go. Yeah, place of occurrence, Timmy Slimber, yeah. Aggravate is assault with a deadly weapon. Sergeant Alex Keller, I'm sure that's one of the cops in the first game. After a verbal altercation with the victim, Merrick brandished a fire poker, hitting the victim with several times in about the head before fleeing the scene. Merrick's gloves were recovered and entered into evidence. A 911 call was received at 12, 10, 10 p.m. and an officer arrived at the scene 10.38 with EMT. The victim has been taken to hospital. A bystander who requested to remain anonymous named Darren Merrick as the assailant. So, his gloves. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely his gloves. Yeah, that would make sense. So, it's the glove he wants us to be rid of. Um, apparently we can picture that. Can we not just get rid of it? I'm waiting. Yeah, now you're going to fucking destroy it. Why are you so bad at this? Hmm. You're kind of drawing to a sentence so Chloe. How. Hmm. how do I right. destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Actually, did that box say letters? Should probably check those out. So I wonder if James would ever figure out that someone tampered with his evidence. <laughs> I wonder if he'd ever figured it out. Mind you, he's working with Damon Oof. anyway. Better not touch that again. Destroying evidence might as well tell me which of my guys was the snitch. Yeah, because someone remained anonymous and snitched on him. Sorry, that's your job. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. Joel? Parents supper, what time do you think he'll be at home? Sweetheart, we don't get enough family time as it is. Is Rachel want to join us? She's very welcome to. Huh. See, that's more like it, Chloe. Do I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Qville phone. <laughs> okay, so you can view his phone. That's cool. Right. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. I can't view the letters anymore. The fuck? Oh god damn it. 
Oh, no, I can't beat them at all. Fuck. Well, from what I remember, I know they're all... Um, from what I remember of the game, I believe they're all write letters from Sarah to Rachel that James never gives her. Because, obviously, yeah. Is there no way I can stop this? God damn it. If, I, if I'd known that, I would have. Shit. Mm -hmm. Oof. Better not touch that again. Man, I've really screwed up on like half the game and all searching of stuff. I've really screwed up. Okay. So we know this. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Maybe. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I mean, he might be. Because he was there at the time, so he must have seen it. This guy looks like a real tool. Um, maybe? Probably not, though. It's definitely not Frank. Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Uh, Sheldon was in the building at the time, so... The only one it could really be is Funder. Uh, is it Funder? Yeah, it, oh, his name's Funder. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, discount care instinct. But, uh, yeah, the only one it could really be is this guy. Let's see if um, let's see if the evidence says anything about it. Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. No. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. Mm -hmm. Detained in 2006 by Arcadia Bay Police Department on suspicions of drug dealing, loitering, drug dealing charges dropped due to insufficient evidence, but they took him on loitering. Huh. Interesting. Tattoos, scars, unknown. Hmm. Okay, so it's definitely not Frank, we know that. I guess I'm lucky Oops. James keeps so much info at home. I know, right? I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. So Gerald Scott pleads guilty. It's not my right to entry will. Signs it. Bound by this agreement, signs it. I agree to... Aid the courts on future cases. He signs it. Well, it's obviously him then, isn't it? You know, that Gerald guy. <laughs> That's pretty easy to find. Let's... This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Sheldon. Were you arrested in the last month? No. Employment state, same. Verified income in the last month, $1,775. Other offices has been very cooperative, no missed check-ins. No. No, that, that, that's check-ins. I don't, I don't think... No, I don't think so. I don't think it was the Sheldon bloke. Because uh, Gerald here decides to aid the courts with future cases. Sheldon's one's on check-ins. So... 
Um, wait, where is... Is Gerald even here? Wait. Oh, wait a minute. This guy looks like a real tool. Is that him? Because none of these guys see Joe. That's Frank, that's Sheldon, and that's Funder. So, the snitch is this guy. That's random, because he was in the building. But he agreed there to kill courts on future cases, but why would he know? Funder was the only one out there. I mean, yes, there was a... There was a, um... Uh, I mean, he was out, he was out, like, he was out shelling shirts. I mean, the, the thing was, like, outside, obviously. But he's the only one that doesn't even have a name. It's not Frank, it's not... Wait. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. Yeah. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Yeah. That's aiding the courts on future cases. This is just check-ins by Sheldon. So it's got to be the vendor guy. He's got to be... What's his name? I'm sure... Wait a minute. Funder is the only one who could have seen it. I don't get it. Vendor is the only... Funder is the only one who could have seen it. Is that that's a, this is a detail I've missed, but Funder is the only one who was in the vicinity at the time. Shit. One of Damon's guys has been snitching. Looks like Mr. Amber has some people on his crime board. Yeah, but I, I mean, it's obviously him because he agreed to aid the court some future cases, but Funder was the only one who saw it. But would Funder snitch? I, I, I don't know. Maybe he saw it but didn't do anything. Maybe Gerald, Gerald obviously agreed to that, but whether he actually did on that case, I don't know. I mean, I'm about 90% sure it's Gerald, but the, the other 10% says to me that Funder was the only one in the vicinity at the time that could have actually seen what happened, unless... I mean, I didn't really stay in the first episode that long, so I'm going to have to probably watch some other people play it and see how that's the case. I mean, yes, it says very cooperative, uh, agreeing to aid the courts on future cases, but surely, surely Fonda was the only one who's seen it. I mean, that's who I thought in the first place, but I didn't really read the documents very well because I, I picked Fonda without really reading the documents. I read them, but I didn't really pay that much attention because I already had it in my head that Fonda saw it. So it's, one, it's definitely one of these two, isn't it? Because Sheldon's not there. He only had check-ins. I don't know. I mean, I accused Fonda last time, but maybe we should accuse this, accuse this guy just because it kind of mostly points to him. Because he agreed to aid the courts on future cases. Mr. DA must have files on the snitch somewhere. But surely... Here's another thing. Surely he can agree to it. It doesn't mean he actually has to do it. This guy's oh, here we go. Snitch. He was so cool to me at the mill. Wonder if there's someone else I could pin it on instead. Oh, suspect's name is Rodney Sears. Detained by Arcadia Bay Police Department on suspicion of drug trafficking. Released after questioning by Officer Aaron Yates. Described as a highly cooperative source of information on local crime activity. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be... It's got to be Funder. Because he's the only one who saw it, surely. I hate that, but... Let's have another dialogue option. Probably Funder. 
I hate to do that because that guy was cool, but you know, it, it makes sense. He was the only one in the vicinity at the time. I'm sure that Gerald guy was at the vendor, so he wouldn't have done anything. So it's, it's got to be Funder. It's got to be because he was the only one there in the vicinity that might have seen it. Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay. It's a shame I can't read. Oh, hang on a minute. The letters have popped up again. Does that mean I can read them now? Here Sarah we go. Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel. That's so messed up. Hey, Sarah, your biological mother. First thing you should know about me is that giving you what was the worst mistake I ever made. I was struggling with something at the time, something I've been battling with ever since. That battle has taken everything from me, but most importantly, you. But now I'm in a place where I can get to know and be a part of your life. It's more than I deserve, I know, but I would love to try if you wanted to. Please take your time. If anything, if you have anything to say or any questions hearing from you, it would mean the world. Well, that's interesting. Because she says giving... She says giving you up. So did... Is the truth that Sarah gave her up? Oh, that's added some fuel to the fire. Hope it's alright to write to you again. I haven't heard from you yet. And that's okay. It really is. I just... I feel I have so much to catch up on, you know. Don't remember much of my... I don't remember most of my life. It's a symptom of the choices I've made. I remember everything about you. The crinkle of your nose, depth of your eyes, knowing smile. So I made it seem like I've seen it all before. I can call it up whenever I want to clear on a summer day. Afraid that I would be a terrible mother to you, that I would screw you up the way I screwed up most of my life. Now I, of course, I fear was wrong. Far worse than being a bad mother is never knowing what kind of mother I would have been. So, James lied. James lied because from this, it seems like Sarah gave her up. And why would Sarah lie? Maybe. I read somewhere, maybe a fortune cookie, that you can never step into the same river twice because it moves. It's not only the same river anymore. So, it's something new. Do you think that's true? Try to picture you reading these letters. Wonder what your actions are. How it might seem to you. This mystery mother. I don't know if you're not writing back. You will write when you're ready. I imagine your dad is still wary of it all. That's okay. James is protective of you just as I would be. But he's also a kind and compassionate person that was the problem, really. That was the problem, really. I wasn't cut out for him or the life he wanted to give you. I knew it then, even when he didn't. I know we can never have the relationship we should have had. I hope it's something new together. I hope it... It's also a kind and compassionate person. That was the problem, really. I wasn't cut out for him all the life he wanted to give you. So yeah, it's it sounds more like Sarah, Sarah gave her up. In this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. Mm. I understand your reluctance to let me speak to Rachel, but don't you think the decision belongs to her? That's kind of what I said in the beginning. Everything I've done over the past year has been to prove to you I'm ready to be in Rachel's life. I've gone through rehab, I'm in recovery, and I'm no longer in need of your money or assistance. I know I can be a positive villain for her, which you can be now because you're actually coping with it. Coming to Arcadia Bay in the hopes that we can at least discuss this so you can see how much I've changed. If anything's left for me, if I have a chance to prove myself. Okay. Cease and desist. I represent Sarah Jernhardt's law lawful mother to Rachel Amber and petitioner for partial custody of Rachel Amber, a lawful daughter. Please take notice that Oregon law requires current guardians of minors to respond in good faith to any and all lawful 
petitions my parents to re-establish contact with, the, contact with their children.